Right. Uh, yeah, great to be here. This is my first time here, and uh, excited to see so many people uh, interested in VR. And I, I'm, I'm sure there's tons of more people in Sweden interested. Um, okay, I'm um, I'm going to talk about the project we did uh, a few months ago. It's for Audi, and I hope this can uh, inspire you or brands to see how VR can be used in the in the marketing world. So my name is Pasi Helin, I'm running uh, MediaMonks.com and uh, I've been in the advertising industry for 24 years. Uh, here is a picture of me uh, becoming a partner in uh, MediaMonks and uh, our CEO Victor gives me a tattoo. And uh, my father saw this picture in, uh, in the press and he called me and said, are you out of your mind? <laughs> and uh, obviously uh, as a background in post-production it's all done uh, in, uh, in post and Photoshop. Uh, and uh, just a few quick words about uh, MediaMonks. We are a creative production partner. We work with the agencies uh, and brands and uh, try to make uh, really cool technical or uh, creative or uh, innovative uh, um, advertising campaigns. Uh, we are an integrated production company. We run 10 different uh, propositions and uh, within film and digital. And uh, one of the big ones at the moment is VR. And VR is quite an uh, interesting one. It could contain so many of the different propositions. So it's uh, a lot of the different proposition is within the VR. We also have 10 different offices. I'm running, like, like I said, uh, the Swedish office. We are about 30 people in Stockholm. Globally, we are now about uh, 600 people, so uh, we're covering a lot of cities in the world. But I'm here to talk about Audi and their, uh, the sandbox. It's a, an idea that we got from an agency in Norway called Pool. And this campaign contains three of our propositions, uh, Minimum uh, VR and film and post-production. And in VR we, we did uh, in Unity, and in the film we did all the production and uh, with directors, and in post uh, all the VFX and 3D and grading and sound design. So the idea with this uh, uh, campaign is, was to launch uh, all this new Q5 car, and the original idea was to sit in a sandbox and experience how you were as a kid driving in a, uh, a car in a sandbox but uh, instead of driving a car from outside you drive it from from inside and the original idea was to put on a 360 video VR headset like Gear VR or something like that and we have shot it in a, or made it in post-production but after a few rounds with our creative directors and technical directors we, we thought okay what about if you build your own track in a sandbox and suddenly jump into the car and be able to drive around in that sandbox. Uh, so, so this is actually the physical installation in, in uh, a car dealers or in an airport or uh, uh, basically wherever. And, uh, and uh, so basically there is a sandbox with some toy cars and some uh, toys and when you, uh, when you uh, do your own track, you jump into the seat next to you, put on your VR headset and actually driving in that sandbox in real time. So I'm just going to run a few, uh, few cases and a uh, few uh, TVCs. And the whole thing started with a TVC that drives people to a website to see where this installation can be, be seen or tested. So let's, try, uh, let's start with the TVC. Remember how much fun you had playing in the sandbox? What if you could get inside the car and drive the track you made? Audi presents Enter Sandbox. at Audi Inno Sandbox. 
and uh, let's run the uh, making of, so you get an understanding of the inside of it. Audi's Enter the Sandbox is based on this beautiful idea of resurrecting your inner child, the one we kind of locked away once we grew up and grew a little boring. So this is done in two steps. First, we introduce you to this amazing sandbox where you can shape your track and build jumps. Then we take that exact creation into real-time VR, put you behind the wheel and let you drive the same track as you shaped. To make this happen, we created an installation where sand is carefully scanned by a depth sensing camera. From that, a believable sandbox world is rendered. Then we drop you in, in a miniature car, and you're free to explore your creation in VR. To capture every bump and curve, the sand is bombarded with short bursts of infrared light. The sensor measures how long it takes for the light to bounce back from each surface point and translates that into terrain data. And when you dig all the way down in the bottom of the sandbox, uh, that part is being transformed into a puddle of water and mud. When you put on the headset, you don't just see the inside of the Audi Q5. Being able to freely move and look around gives you an amazing sense of presence. It's a lot of fun watching people experience this for the first time. To create a VR experience that is totally believable, it's important that the driving experience feels real. Not only the visual part, but also the feel of the steering wheel and its feedback when you hit the sand. I think it's time to stop riding off the Audi Quattro as a childhood dream. So, enter the sandbox and find out for yourself. Yeah, it's quite nice when you, when you see people starting to built your own tracks in the sandbox and uh, jumping into the driving seat and reversing and taking some speed and um, uh, jumping into a, a sand sand jump and then suddenly, okay, that was not high enough, jump out and make the sand uh, <laughs> jump higher and jump in again and try to make an even longer jump. So it's a, it's a really uh, a nice campaign and to inspire how to how to use VR in, in, in marketing. and. There are some quite uh, good numbers on how this actually performed this campaign. So the new Audi Q5 went up to become the best-selling model in Norway. Uh, Audi dealers uh, reported 57% increase in uh, visitors, uh, 20 million views on Facebook, and so it's a very successful campaign for small country as uh, Norway. So now Audi is actually rolling this out to uh, a, a global campaign. So uh, just a little bit of uh, inspiration on uh, on uh, that from me. Thank you so much. Yeah. And. Uh,